This video is about adding mixed numbers. When you add mixed numbers, you add the whole numbers together and you add the fractions together and then put the two bits together. So, here, if we add the whole numbers, well, our whole numbers are 2 and 5, so that's 7. There are whole numbers. And then if we add together the fractions, so we've got 2 ninths plus a quarter. So we're looking for the lowest common multiple of 9 and 4. Well, the first number that appears in both their times table is 36. So to get 36 in my denominator, I need to times this fraction top and bottom by 4 and this fraction by 9. Let's do that multiplication. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 9 is 36, as we hoped for. 1 times 9 is 9. 4 times 9 is 36. Now I can add my numerator together. 8 add 9 is 17. So that's 17 over 36. Check to see if it cancels. Uh, no, it doesn't. So I've got my two bits here. So my answer, if I put my whole and my fraction together, is 7 and 1736. Now, subtracting mixed numbers is very much like adding mixed numbers. We subtract the whole numbers and we subtract the fractions and then put them together. So for this question here, I'm going to subtract the whole numbers. 8 take away 5 is 3. And then I'm going to subtract the um, fractions. Uh, 2 fifths and a quarter. So I'm looking for the lowest common denominator of 5 and 4. So the first number that appears in both their times table is 20. So I'm going to times this fraction top and bottom by 4 so I can get 20 as the denominator because 4 times 5 is 20. And this one I'm going to have to do by 5 because 4 times 5 is 20. Let's do that multiplication. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5 is 20. Minus 1 times 5 is 5. 4 times 5 is 20. My denominator is the same, so I can take away the numerators. So 8 take away 5 is 3, so that's 3 twentieths. Check to see if it cancels. Uh, there is no number that divides into 3 and 20, so that's as far as I can go. So I've done my subtraction, so let's bring these two bits together. I've got 3 wholes and 3 twentieths, and that's my answer. 